Hello, this is Lady Boulay, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you for clicking on the video, and I want to quickly address the video that I just did, what black men do when they love black women. Black men got on this platform who didn't even watch the video, just looked at the title. They don't love black women, and they don't want anybody else to love black women, so they got on here, some of them with a long rant, like they thought I was going to read that. I won't. And... The attacking black women without even listening to the video. Or one of them said, well, I spent too much time dragging black men. I'm not dragging you. If you are out here bothering little girls and touching little girls or doing things inappropriate to the community, and I'm talking about you, yes, I said what I said. If you don't like my video, unsubscribe. I'm happy to see you go. And a black woman came on with this nugget of gold. Cynthia G made a live video on this very topic. How do black men show that they value and love black women collectively as a group? No one could ever answer that question and she didn't answer that question either in this video. And she's talking about me. You let me tell you something. I wasn't trying to show how black men show that they value and love black women collectively as a group. Because first of all, I don't know what that means. That is a very arrogant, egotistical, self-serving, vain, and narcissistic statement to make. How do black men show that they value and love black women? Well, hell, how do you show that you love and value black men collectively as a group? How do you do that? I was not trying to do that. I was not trying to answer Cynthia G's question and I'm not trying to answer yours. I was saying what black men do when they love black women. Now, if you and anybody else wants to go out there and tear down the government to prove something, you go right ahead. You have my blessings. But this channel is not for you. This channel is not for you. You are equivalent to the black men who don't like black women, don't like single mothers, and they don't want other black men to like single mothers or black women. Y'all need to kind of do a self-inspection to see what is riling you. If you don't like black men, just say you don't like black men and move on. Stop trying to make it seem like it's something about them and not you. If you don't like black women, just say you don't like black women and move on. Nobody has to prove anything to you. So let's be clear. Nobody's channel can answer all of the questions and satisfy all of the people that might drive by their channel or by click by their channel. Nobody has all the answers. Some people really just need to be in therapy or get off the internet. The internet, at the end of the day, is an entertainment tool. It's, it can be informative, but it's mostly entertaining. So if you're going on somebody's channel and you are taking everything they say literally and thinking that everything that they say is gospel, that's the profile of a very limited person. Let me tell you who my channel is not for. I think you probably already have a good idea now. My channel is not for black women that don't like black men. You're not going to be happy on my channel if you don't like black men or if you have a certain narrative about black men that you want somebody to give you every time you click on their channel. This channel is not for you. I am not a divester. I am not a black woman who has been broken down by black men. All of the promises they ever made to me, they broke. I'm not that person. I grew up in a home with a father and I am married to a black man who was a high value man before all these black people on the internet started talking about high value and six figures. My husband was six figure before they even knew how to read a six figure number. So I don't have that disappointment that a lot of black women have. I have had disappointments with black men, don't get me wrong, because I didn't marry when I was 25. Uh, I was past 25 when I got married. But when I married, I married the right man for me. Before I got married, I went through my period of uncertainty, like most women do. Wondering, am I ever going to find the right guy? Am I going to get married? How long is it going to take? That sort of thing. But the right man will find you. You just have to be ready for him when he comes, but he'll find you. But you can't play around with men, and you can't let them play around with you. 
You either come straight with me or you let the doorknob hit you and the good Lord split you. So I didn't have a lot of disappointments because I didn't deal with a lot of characters like that. I know my lane. And everybody talks about the boule, but I like boule guys. My channel is not for black men who do not like black women. My channel is not even for black men who don't like single mothers. Now, if you don't like single mothers and you decided that you're not going to date a single mother for problems because that, there are the challenges that come with marrying somebody who has children. So if you decide, well, I don't want to marry a woman with children or I don't want to marry a man with children, that's fine. But if you want to get on the channel every time somebody says something about a single mother, you've got something negative to say about it. Even if somebody wants to say something positive, you want to come in and try to tear that statement down. This channel is not for you. And some, I was about three or four of you guys. I'm hoping that you're going to unsubscribe to my channel after this. But if you don't, I'm probably going to end up blocking you because I'm tired of this. You don't have to agree with me. There is a respectful way to disagree with people. The conversation that black men have about single black mothers is irrational to me. When black women keep talking about what have black men done to show whatever it is they're trying to show to black people collectively, that's irrational to me. So I, maybe I'm too old. One person, I said I'm an elder in the black community, and then this one, this one woman talked about don't listen to these elders and this, and that's why you're in the shape you're in, because you don't listen to anybody. But my channel is not for you. Please understand that. Now, I'm making it clear to y'all who my channel is not for. And I'm not going to say who it's for because I want people to come to my channel. I want them to view my content. I don't expect you to agree. Or I don't expect you to agree with everything I say. There are people who have been with me from the beginning. I think a couple of y'all <laughs> were with me when I was with those 12 people. I was happy. But you don't always agree with me. And I, I welcome disagreement because that's a point that we can have a discussion. Sometimes I make videos from people who disagree with me. So I'm not saying you have to agree with me. But if you have, to me, it's a sign of a, a deeper problem. If you're constantly beating up on one group of people, I can't stand black men. They ain't proved it. They all did. They all dusty. And then I showed it a Pew Research said this and the CDC said that. Anybody who has gone to college or who has any knowledge about statistics knows that you can make statistics say whatever you want them to say. You can make numbers say whatever you want them to say. And it's a very elementary mind that doesn't know that. Used to be that's the first thing your teacher would tell you when you go into a statistics class in college. You can make numbers say anything you want them to say. But the numbers don't lie. People lie. People switch things around and people don't give all the information. The numbers are right, but the people lied. So when white people put out statistics or data about black people, you can almost bet your bottom dollar that that, that, that study is going to be skewed negatively against black people. So any black person who wants to continue to drag out white people's statistics to try to prove a point about black people is usually trying to prove something negative about black people. I have used statistics before and I use them cautiously because you can get a picture of something. But I think it's important for you to know who did the study, how many people were in the study and so forth. But it's usually something negative if it's going to be done about black people. Now that's something that we all need to understand. So anyway, I want to be clear. I welcome people to my channel. I'm not extreme on one side or on the other. Now, black men will say that because black men can't stand me to say anything about them except what they want them to say. And some black men just sit some of these conversations out, and I appreciate that. But I'm, I'm making it clear right now. If you hate single mothers that bad, bye. And if you hate black men so much, understand this is not a divestment channel. And if you can't stand for me to say anything nice about, a, about black men that I know, bye. So y'all know now, so my numbers will go down. But I hope to build them on with a more healthy 
and a better community of people who understand what I'm trying to do on this channel. So I, pr I appreciate you who understand what I'm trying to do. And I do encourage you to tell me and to disagree with me and let me know how you feel about things. But this whole idea about trying to shame people and trying to embarrass people and hating on people and making up a decision based on what somebody else said, this challenge is just not for you. It's just not. Now let me end with this. I watch a variety of black content creators on YouTube. I watch the ones that I agree with and I watch the ones that I don't agree with. We typically call that open-minded. You can listen to somebody else's point of view and not make it personal to you. And I don't ever leave nasty comments on their channel because it's their channel. The issue is I want y'all to stop coming on my channel asking me what black men do to prove they love black women collectively. I consider that question to be arrogant and subjective because what one woman might think black men have done may not be what you think or what you agree with or what you accept. So you need to ask in your own mind what black men have done for you to prove that they love you. And I'll just say this in closing and you can take it for what it's worth. But putting expectations on somebody else that you can't meet yourself usually ends in failure and or disappointment. So the challenge, what have you done to prove that you love black men collectively as a group? So I believe that I have made myself clear about who my channel is not for. Okay, thank you for listening. Leave a comment and have a great day.